Guys, here you go, and this is Sahara. And there's the bullets, mate. You can start loading it into your mag. She's going out tonight with me with the uh, Serenco 22 that was donated by Gun City and a bunch of good bastards. Baza and Winky and a few others. Thank you very much. This whole thing here, it's been really the boys go to. It's a cheap Chinese rifle and it's really good. One of our uh, good bastards uh, who just belongs to the club, uh, he bought her out probably was it a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. That was Blair. Blair's here today somewhere and he's bought Sahara out again to give her an opportunity. So she's done her shooting on the range and she's really good. Uh, at, at about 80 metres she was getting a group this size last time and so I'm confident she's good enough to shoot a rabbit. She says she wants to go for a headshot. Are you managing those all right, mate? <laughs> kind of. Have you ever done that before? No. Oh, it's the first time. Okay, okay. So what you do is you push you push that in there and then you slide it back. I assume Blair would have taught you that last time. You push it down first. That's right. You push it down. Now go straight down first from the gap. Just, just in here, we're going to go straight down in there and then go back, okay? I thought Blair would have taught you that. That's it. You got it, mate? You figured that out? Yeah. Okay, you, you, you're winning there. You've you never done it before. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't, did not show you that last time. Okay. Oh, well, he must have just showed her how to shoot. Did he go through all the gun safety with you? Yeah. We'll go about that again. Sounds like uh, Blair's just found the dogs or they've just found them. <laughs> this is the perfect time of night because the rabbits are moving around and I don't think we have to go too far on the farm. They've actually been nailing all my vegetables. So you want to keep that pointed always a safe place like you are. You're doing good. Do you know what the direction is you always point your rifle? That's one of the questions they're going to ask you when you go for your firearms um, license. Away from you? Yeah, away from, always in a safe place, yeah? Yeah, away from you and away from anybody else. There's a rabbit just ran down the driveway. So when you're walking like this now, we're not really in the hunt zone, but you want to have a just a look around the time. So you might see one down the paddock down here, and you might say, hey, Clay, I want to go for that one there. Have you ever shot a rabbit before? No. Oh, so this is the first time. Yeah, me oh. and my brother went rabbit shooting, but we didn't shoot any of the rabbits. Right, okay. Oh, okay, well, this is a biggie then. Okay. And you, you're adamant you want to go for a headshot rather than a body shot? Um, I think I might try a body shot first, but... Body shot's probably your first one for your good one, because you've got a bigger mass to go for. Yeah. The rabbit just went off the end too, just down there. Yeah. Got to keep your eyes up now, so we're moving around. Now we're getting into a hunt zone now. So you saw some rabbits down there when you come up. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay close to the trees, so they don't see us. We're just going to creep down here, just quietly, and just going to watch. And anything that we see is fair game if we can see what's behind it. We can't shoot across the driveway because there could be a car coming down, but if we get across the driveway, then we can shoot. Okay? So we'll move down here a bit more. So we just found this rabbit, but it's on the neighbour's property, and... Oh, we... I can see one that's not. Ah, good. Okay. Sahara spotted this one before I did, so she's actually outdone all the boys I've taken. Normally I'm spotting for the boys, but she actually got me. I don't know if you guys can see it in the shot there, but there's a rabbit right in there. Only its ears tweaking around. Well done, mate. So tell me what happened there. It was about very very close yeah I moved the rifle though yeah you moved it but but you've never taken a standing shot and it's your first time so it's a difficult day at a standing shot that's what practice is and uh, that's why it's called hunting it's not called catching you don't catch them every time we'll find another one that was Sahara's first time was it your first time shooting a rabbit uh, yeah yeah okay we can do better it's just it's a start you, you're seeing them I got excited did you get excited yeah, yeah so did I it's not about just always having a kill, it's about getting out there and um, doing it, you know. I've done some standing shots with a slug gun, that's really little, but... Standing shots are difficult, mate. Yeah. We'll get you a rest for the next rabbit. That was probably almost too close, like right next to us. Oh, another one just bound off. There's plenty of rabbits around here. Just take your time. It's nice and steady. You want to be right on the head and just squeeze. Just go a little bit low below the, just below the ears there. Make sure you're not moving and stay right on him, just below his ears, just the centre of his head. Squeeze that off. You got him! Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go.
You pick it, grab his back legs before he runs away. Grab his back legs. Quickly. Grab him quick, 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 quick. Don't let him go. Oh, he's a beauty. Bring him up, mate. Bring him up. No, you headshot him. He's dead. Don't worry about that. No, he's just nerves. He's your first Ooh, rabbit. That's, that's okay. Well, that's what it is. He's a dead rabbit. You've headshot it. It's a, it's a kill shot. Don't worry. It's just nerves. Creepy, eh? I wanted to get a headshot first. You've got a headshot, so... mate. He's dead. It's just his nerves, eh? That's horrible. Well, that's what killing is. Yeah. This is what you wanted to do. You don't have to do it. No, it's just like creepy the way it moves. It's just nerves. It's dead. It's a dead rabbit. That's a perfect headshot. It's dead ass. That's a good one too. Oh, mate, that's your first rabbit. Put it there, kiddo. Put it there. Yeah. And it was a beautiful headshot. Straight down. Hey, hold him up. He's a big. He's a big one. <laughs> Comes a bit of bit of grass. Yeah. So how are you feeling? I'm oh, really good. Yeah? Are you sure you're really cut out for hunting? Because it was a bit creepy, you said. Oh, the way it was moving, I'm like really glad that I shot it, but the way it was like moving once it was dead, that was like weird. Mate, that was a really good headshot. And that's your first one. Hey. Yeah. See, the second one you missed was a bit too close, I think. And he had something to rest on. But no, that was a clean shot. It was just nerves. You smashed it. Oh, that's really cool. Well, now we can teach you how to skin it and take the meat home for your mum. Okay. Awesome. Right, lay your rabbit down, and I want you to make your rifle safe before we go. So first of all, take your mag out, magazine. So to take that out, you're going to push that clip there. Yeah, push that down, and then pull out. And give it to me. Now I want you to open your bolt up and eject the shell that's in there. So you've got a bullet in there. So just imagine that you like you, yeah, open that up and eject. So it's clear, and just check that you're, you're empty in there. See, there's nothing in there. That just means it's safe. We know it's safe. So you can hang on to that in your rabbit, and I'll look after the uh, ammo. I'll keep hold of that, and we'll go back and show you how to take the skin off it. This is Blair, guys and girls, and this is his knife. I'm trusting it's going to be a sharp one. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so There's pressure. Blair is uh, in the GBC and he brought Sahara over today and we've had a win. She's shaking. I said, are you cold? She goes, no, I'm just excited. She's got the old adrenaline buzz going. Headshot. Perfect headshot, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, headshot. <laughs> We're not keeping the skin for anything um, other than dog tucker. So we nick in there like that there, just so you've opened it up. And then you've got this part here and you're going to put your hands in and almost like you're taking a sock off, open it up and stretch out. <laughs> And what we've got is we're going to cleave the hair just to make life a little bit easier. And we're not going to be using the feet for anything other than something for my dogs. And just take the skin off there. So you see what I did? I just broke the bone and I just used the knife to take that off. And then we'll do the same with the other ones. That's dog tucker over there. And we'll do the same on this side here. Because you've got a really nice, really nice head shot. Go a bit lower. See how, where I've taken those just by the joint? This makes it easier. It's actually off. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can cut that off. Okay, nice. the head's off. Well done. We can cut that there. See how clean it's come out? And because you've done a head shot, all that meat it's awesome. is all perfect. You haven't wasted anything at all. It's a really, really good one. Okay, we can't show this on YouTube. That's the perfect meat for your first. Your first shot really is. Do you want me to wrap it up in some glad wrap for you so it's wrapped up to take home? Oh, we'll do that. Cool. Yeah, Poe. Poe's not fussy, are you, Poe? Yeah, and good boy. Bexie, you can have some. See, good boy, eh? That's the one. Oh, that was a close. Hey. Ideally, your mum wants to unwrap that when you get it home and put it in a plate and leave it for a couple of days to rest the meat. And then make sure she puts like a, a towel underneath it, like a paper towel. And that way there, it'll be nice and rested the meat because it'll still need to calm down a bit. Here comes old Ducky behind to give old Blair a hurry up. Hey, you're going to get me. Yeah. You got the ends all done too, bro, with the feet there. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah, you got some meat to take over to mum. What you expect to be shooting your first rabbit? I think so. I did better than I, than I expected. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. And do you think you go hunting again after this? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Do you want to go for a bigger game next time, or do you want to try more rabbits first? Uh, I kind of want to go for something bigger, because that was really fun. 
Do you think you'd also enjoy pig hunting with a dog at night, or would that be a bit too extreme? I'd probably enjoy it. <laughs> you would, okay. Well, mate, you've got really good eyes, and you've done really good today, so put it there. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll let you go home and take it to your mum. She's going to be wrapped that you bring us some meat home. that tail back. Oh, oh, yeah. The ta- oh, yeah. I put the tail in the pocket. I didn't mean to. <laughs> There's your tail. She's watching that tail. Yeah, she's just looking after it for you. <laughs> this kid doesn't miss a thing, mate. No, no, thing. No. Yeah. When we were driving up there, she saw three that I never saw as well. No, no, good eyes, yeah. Yeah, she has got the eyes, for sure. Yeah. That's yeah. something you're sort of born with, really, isn't it? You know? Put it there, bro. Oh, awesome. Good Thank to you see you, man. Much, Appreciate that, eh? Nah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let me Thank know when you want to go out again, we'll get you out again, okay? Yeah, so. Big hunting yeah. season's only like a couple of couple of months away, even less. It's only only a month away. So we'll get you out with the boys for that. I think you'll be good. I reckon you'll spot a lot of the animals before they do. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I'm yeah. not joking. Yeah, no, I think yeah. you're right, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, That's bro. Hey, good to see you again too, mate. Yeah, you too, bro. You. See you next time. See you later. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you, I'll see you next time I come here. Okay, bud. Yeah, yeah. Beauty. Okay. It's always such a good feeling to see a young kid go off with uh, that passion, which as you get older, it dies down a bit, that passion, and it sort of revitalizes you. She's just stoked. She'll be on a high for a long time. She got me to get a photo with her. her camera, so she's got something for herself, and I understand how that feels. It really is. Such a such a buzz. Yeah, that's what it's all about, teaching young I guess a young fellas. That's a young fellas. It's not very often I take a, a girl out hunting, it's mostly boys, but that girl there, she got good eyes. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be good, can't be good, be careful, and we'll see you next one. See you later. I'm gonna put this rifle away. Good.